Hey guys, so a lot of you may have heard of the Hertz rental car company before and a lot of you may have even rented a car with them when you're buying a flight as a package deal or something of this sort and they actually were a very popular car company as you can see around three months ago they were worth around twenty dollars which is a pretty substantial drop as you can see here and a lot of people are very knowing of the fact that this company can't recover unless the coronavirus blows over and a lot of people start renting cars again to go on vacation or whatever but as of one week ago or i mean as of today two hours ago they actually announced that they would be filing for bankruptcy and this is as a result of the lower demand and the fact that the company has a lot of debt on their sheet. And as you can see, they were worth around $3 before this happened. And they've lost almost 50% of their value, around $1.50. So this is pretty substantial. And it just shows that people are very bearish on the company recovering here. You can see that after hours, they've fallen all the way to around $1.50. And their latest three news posts on Robinhood are about this bankruptcy that they announced a couple hours ago. Now, analyst ratings say that you should hold or sell this company. And like I said, this is as a result of the coronavirus and of the fact that a lot of people aren't renting cars anymore or traveling or even buying these package deals that benefit these rental car companies so much. However, now that you're not able to play on the actual stock, because I wouldn't recommend buying this at all, I don't think they're going to be able to recover, especially after a bankruptcy, and especially with the fact that the coronavirus still hasn't passed and is about months away from passing over, you have to be looking at automakers. Now, how do automakers relate to this? You can see from this Yahoo Business article that automakers stand to lose the most from Hertz bankruptcy. And when Hertz becomes bankrupt, what this shows is that a lot of these rental car companies are most likely in a tough financial situation and are suffering as a result of the coronavirus. So these companies are no longer going to be able to buy new cars, rented cars or old cars from these companies like General Motors or Fiat Chrysler or Kia, Ford, Toyota, Nice, Nissan and Hyundai, which are other brands that sell to these rental car companies. So yeah, guys, this is very concerning because it could affect the whole car industry as a whole. And essentially what this means is that GM makes up around 21% of the fleet of Hertz and all these cars are going to be going out of service. So that's a lot of business. That's probably millions of vehicles. Yeah, you see 500,000 vehicles just in the United States for General Motors under the Hertz car company. So this is going to represent millions of vehicles worldwide for these companies. And it's going to be a very, very big toll on their sales and profits as a lot of these old used cars don't really sell. However, these rental car companies are able to come in and buy a lot of them and as a result, help out the other companies like General Motors, Fiat Chrysler, Nissan, etc., etc. Et so yeah, guys, this is going to be a very big hit on the auto industry. And especially if other companies start to follow Hertz example and become bankrupt or even decide to shut down, you can see that among the companies that stand to lose business in this domino effect are automakers. And essentially, Hertz has canceled 90% of its new car orders. So yeah, like I said, guys, they are basically planning on effectively shutting down their business and stopping their purchasing and all this type of things. And it's going to really, really hurt the auto industry in the months to come because a lot of companies are probably going to follow suit as a result of the coronavirus. You can see that Hertz lost 50% of its value, like I said. So I genuinely would not encourage buying into the Hertz company at this price unless we see some kind of substantial recovery. And even then, I would rather recommend you to buy another car company or another rental car company that has less debt on its timesheet or on its sheets. And yeah, so honestly, guys, be very careful. If you're holding Hertz, yes, this is the time to sell. They are not going to be increasing from this value. And I feel that when on Tuesday, when the market opens, they're going to continue selling off because a lot of traders are not able to sell their shares during after hours markets. So once the market opens, a lot more people are going to try to get rid of their shares. You can see that around 50,000 people hold this on Robinhood. So it's not a small holding. This is a pretty substantial amount of people. And around 50% of analysts say sell and the other 50 say hold. So really none of them are telling you to buy. So this should be a very, very strong warning sign. As always, guys, remember to subscribe and like the video and be very careful.